In March 2023, the Unreal editor for Fortnite launched and the community was graced with two competing remakes of Fortnite's Chapter 1, Atlas OG Battle Royale and Reboot Royale. The next few months told an interesting story, which I detailed in a 2023 video. If you haven't already, watch that one first so you know where this story picks up. The TLDR is that both were flawed and buggy on release. Coupled with a lack of content support after just a month, both suffered a quick decline as a result. We left off in July, where both battle royales had been inactive for some three months. My video on the topic blew up, now sitting at over half a million views. Now, I don't want to take credit for what happened next, but it is certain that a lot more eyes were suddenly on these two. In the days after the video, Atlas announced their biggest update yet, the Season 5 update. The Desert Biome, Lazy Links, Viking Village, golf carts, rifts, they must all be coming in just a few days. And then, they didn't. What we got was just the desert biome, and it was uh, not quite what people remembered. A lot of missing set pieces and just generally looking pretty rough left a bad taste in people's mouths. Many felt that the update had been rushed out. Still, Atlas pushed on and released the Lazy Links update and the long-awaited original graphics update shortly after. After that, nothing! Yeah, they went radio silent again. Worse, they completely wiped their accounts of anything related to the Battle Royale, proving once and for all that the team was done with it, and they were ready to leave it behind. If you try to jump in now, you'll find, uh, OG Hero FFA? Yeah, th this is bad. It was created during Season OG, which we will get back to, I suppose to capitalise on the hype, but, like, no? So, what was Reboot Royale up to during this time? We already established that this was ultimately the better remake, but it just fell off harder. So, how are they gonna bounce back? Nothing, there, there, there were no updates. The team at Good Gamers had come to the conclusion that Battle Royale was unsustainable, and so they launched Reboot Royale's replacement in December, Reboot Zone Wars. Reboot Zone Wars is a fairly simple map. It's a Zone Wars set in remix of Chapter 1 Fortnite POIs, using Reboot Royale's map as a base. I tried to play it, but Fortnite said no, so of course the final nail in the coffin for these OG Chapter 1 remakes was the release of Season OG in November. Fortnite officially brought back Chapter 1 for just a month, complete with a unique OG pass and weekly updates based on different seasons. It had everything, except somehow it wasn't the most authentic remake of the year. Despite Epic literally having access to old Fortnite versions in their big old vaults to pull the map from, the map still had weird inconsistencies. No castle tower at Tilted, duplicated buildings at Snobby, and the farmhouse was missing at Fatal. It was just weird. Still, Fortnite OG was pretty much the nail in the coffin for these remakes. Some people were still playing Atlas during OG for whatever reason. Poor guys didn't download the update. Now with Fortnite Season OG passing, the floor was once again opened up to the creators to provide the world with their Chapter 1 remakes. So let's talk about the new big dog on the scene, Yap OG BR. Yap OGBR is a remake of Chapter 1 Season 5 developed by Milo UEFN and published by the small team Yap Maps. It's split into two modes, Battle Royale and Playground, and is easily the most one-to-one -one accurate remake thus far in the- well, I actually couldn't find anything wrong with it. This one is set right at the end of Season 5, so it's got Tomato Temple, the Low Gravity Runes, and the Bouncy Kevin Lake. And frankly, it feels ripped straight out of Chapter 1. I shouldn't even be surprised. Milo will be one to watch in the future. This man can remake damn near anything with 100% precision. Spawn Islands, Creative Hubs, Save the World Zones, and even THE Stark Industries. He even helped me develop my very own late-game experience set on the Chapter 2 island. 
I was lucky enough to get early access and it really shows that one year on from the launch of UFM, great things can be done. If Reboot and Atlas weren't rushed out the door as they were to compete with each other, they both could have been really great. It's not the only map on the scene either. There's also a Season 3 playground map by Totem Creative that is infinitely more accurate to Reboot and Atlas, no offense guys, and has some seriously impressive tech. Season 0 remake by Ingo that brings back the very first version of Fortnite's Battle Royale map, and Return Royale, a Season 8 remake. As for other chapters, Epic's rules are still very clear, not allowed. You have to be quite careful when it comes to remaking anything beyond chapter 1. I think the first person to try and push the bar there was, well, me. My Apollo late game brings back Fortnite Chapter 2 in a whole new way, by locking the map down to a late game, disallowing exploration, and making other map changes by excluding or even changing POIs, I was able to give the people what they want without breaking Epic's rules. Not a brag or anything. There's also been a Chapter 3 remake in the works by Soulsmate for some time now, and well, I must say it does look incredible. Now, of course, creative islands are not the only way to return to Chapter 1. There have been private servers set up and managed by small, dedicated communities that essentially host the old game files on their own servers, so with a bit of technical know-how that I do not apparently possess, you can play Chapter 1 in the 2020s with battle passes, V-Bucks, item shops, and even live events. Or you could. Epic Games have been sending out a slew of legal takedowns against these servers as they reportedly violate Fortnite's EULA and potentially even break copyright law. Epic haven't been too mean in taking them to court or anything, just requested they stop their operations, which is still a shame. So the many operations like Project Error or Project Nova that the commenters on part 1 of this video were very insistent that I try out will no longer even exist very soon. So. I suppose creative might actually be the only way to play this form of Fortnite going forward. So support these projects. If you want to relive those classic memories, this is the way to do it. Not only is it the easiest way, but it's also the only way. These developers poured hundreds of hours into these projects and you might want to log in now and play these old maps again because you never know how long they'll be around for. Oh yeah, and I'm working on Athena late game, I guess, so get ready for another flop.